It's a small school with around 70 on roll. We have four teaching groups. We have reception in a small group in their own classroom. Then we have years one and two in a classroom, years three and four, and year fives and sixes. We have a strong academic tradition, and this showed in our good Ofsted inspection, which we had three years ago. We were particularly pleased with our inspection report, and the children came out extremely well in terms of behaviour, because they were judged to be outstanding. We do concentrate on the academic subjects, but we are interested in the whole child. So we do a lot of work in music, in art, in sport, and try to encourage children to develop the talents that they're born with. We have very good standards in reading, uh, writing, maths and science. We believe that reading underpins everything. All our children leave being able to read extremely well. Um, some of our children in year six have reading ages well into the teens and our younger children also have a love for reading, which is what we're trying to foster. Our maths, again, very good standards in maths. Our children have very good understanding of number work. And we believe science is still very important, despite the fact that not all schools are assessed anymore. So in English and maths, we have lessons every morning and science we spend a whole afternoon in each class even with the reception children doing practical work and learning the science not just facts but also un understanding what they're looking at. When children come into the foundation stage we look at where they are on, on their learning journey and when they are ready to read then they will start bringing books home. Every child we look at as an individual and in terms of our planning, we have very detailed lessons so that we know where they are in their maths or their writing or their reading and our lessons are planned so that they are making improvements from where they are at that time. As a church-aided school, we have very strong links with the church. We work with them in fundraising. We have our Cotswold Highland Games each year, which is a major fundraiser, which everyone in the community is involved with. We uh, have links with Gloucester Cathedral, our year sixes go to the Lever service there, and we visit the cathedral as part of our curriculum work in RE and history. We also use our local churches. We go to St Canons, which is just down the lane from the school. We go to the churches in front of Mansell and Coates as well. We have two clergy on our governing body, so they're very heavily involved in the running of the school. And one of our clergy has become the chaplain of the school. <laughs> we don't see the school's role as being from 9 till 3.20. We have a breakfast club which is open to all children from 8 o'clock in the morning for parents who are working or who have early appointments. And at the end of the day, most days, we have after school club till 5 o'clock. We have a whole range of activities for the children that are always changing. So in the summer months, we might have gardening club. We might have uh, windsurfing and kayaking. Uh, we will have lots of sports clubs going on, cricket, football, athletics. And then during the winter months, we might have film club, football and rugby. Sport has a really high profile in school. Our children are very keen to develop their skills, but also a lot of them are very competitive and they like to have involvement in cricket tournaments and football tournaments. We're very lucky. We have a very good set of cricketers who've won our local um, cricket tournament for the last two years. And our football team won a local tournament earlier this year as well. If you'd like to visit the school, we always welcome visitors. Don't just wait until we have our open day. We encourage people to come and visit the school at any time. It's really important that you come and see the school with the teachers and the pupils working in it so that you can see what we are really about.